Aspects of Love 1. Wishing Well Oblivious of the jostling throng, they sit on the wall of a wishing well, as have thousands of lovers before them, not touching, but with their eyes locked against the world which, for them, is frozen in time and irrelevant. From my pavement table, I watch them dispassionately, only too well aware of the fragility of love and how the permanence of barked, carved initials can be consumed by the bonfires of disillusionment. So why should I sense that these two are different? Is their absorption in each other so totally exclusive? But the bustling passers-by seem unmoved and seem not to detect a fraction of the passion that pulsates in the aura of their passing. Without a glance, they toss their optimistic offerings into the waters, which gently reflect and ripple over the hopeful horde. My lovers, the possessive adoption by now deliberate, remain unmoved by the antics of the superstitious, and feel, perhaps, that they have no need of fateful favour. They know that they have been favoured above all, for they have each other a fact which leaves the rest of their race impoverished. But then, for a fleeting fragment of time, their eyes are unlocked, lift and meet mine, and I am the blessed beneficiary of a secret smile of such intense intimacy that I know that I have just shared in the deepest and most complicated secret of the universe. Aspects of Love 2 We Talked In the lee of a rock we sat on the sands and we talked, of this and of that, but mostly of us, of the whys and the wherefores and what had gone wrong. The seagulls mocked with harsh disdain the pitiful lies which fell from our lips, like the coarse grains of sand which fell through our fingers as we clutched at a ground which was shifting beneath us. Was it my fault or hers? Was it him? Was it her? And all the while the restless tide receded remorselessly rolling our future away. Around us resounded the sounds of fun, of families, enjoying the sand, the sea, and the sun, while we, in the lee of a rock, sat unloved and alone.